Here are the 10 best arcade cabinets for your home in 2022. I also have one bonus to go over with you at the end of the video, but it's probably going to be out of the price range for most of us, myself included. The links to each of these will be down in the description, like always, for anybody that's interested in getting one of them or just wants to go and check them out. The first five that we're going to go over are only three-fourth scale and are the cheaper ones on this list. So do keep in mind that they are not full-size arcade cabinets. Anyways, the first batch are from Arcade 1UP, which is one of my favorite companies because of how affordable the cabinets actually are and just how simple they are to mod them. And to anybody that does know how to mod an arcade cabinet, I of course will have links to that stuff down in the description as well. It's going to be useful for people that want to install a Raspberry Pi and just add thousands and thousands of games rather than the batch of games that you actually get with the arcade directly from Amazon. The cabinets with two or three player games all have two or three player options and they each have 17 inch LCD screens. There's a Street Fighter version that comes with a few different games. There's an Asteroids version that comes with a few different games. There's a Galaga version that comes with a few different games. There's a Pac-Man version that comes with a few games. And then there's a Rampage version that comes with a few games. These are all going to cost you between $499 and $699, depending on which one you actually end up getting. The next five arcade cabinets are full-size arcade machines for people that want a full-size arcade machine inside of their home. Five of these are going to be from Creative Arcades, a company with amazing products. The first one is two player and comes with 60 games, a 22 inch LCD screen, and it has a three year warranty. This one is gonna cost you almost $2,000, but do keep in mind that Amazon does have some credit options for anybody that would just prefer to do it that way and doesn't wanna fork over $2,000 all at once. The second one is four player. It comes with 4,500 games. It has a 32 inch LCD screen. It has a three year warranty, comes with two stools and is going to cost you 3,750 bucks. And then the third one is the exact same thing as the second one, just with a different shaped cabinet. The fourth one is my favorite personally. There's just something about the wooden look that makes this super, super cool looking. This has seven options to choose from. So even though it is extremely expensive, there are some cheaper versions of it. This has four players, 3,500 games, a 32 inch LCD screen, a three year warranty, comes with some stools, and is going to cost you $3,500. So it's probably out of the ballpark for most of us, myself included, but it is a top 10 list, so I couldn't leave it off of it. The fifth one is another one from Creative Arcades. It is two player, has 750 games, a 22 inch LCD screen. It includes two stools, a three year warranty, and is going to cost you $1,998. The last one, the bonus one, that is way out of the price range for most of us, myself included times 69 plus 420, is hands down the best one, it is the best of the best, no questions asked, and is from Prime Arcades, LLC. Probably the most well-known arcade company out there that is selling arcade cabinets on Amazon. This has a 32-inch LCD screen, comes with 4,708 games, and the games are like awesome. It has an awesome design and artwork to go alongside it. It offers free shipping, which is a nice little bonus considering how much you're paying for it, and... This is the best part about it. If you want to do some custom artwork on the arcade cabinet, then you can do that if you request it. This is the most expensive one on this list, and it's going to cost you almost 4,000 bucks. Again, the link to each of these will be down in the description to anybody that would like to go and purchase one of them or just wants to go and check them out. And I also want to say thank you to Owl Anonymous on YouTube for the footage that was used from Funspot in this video. I have not been able to make it to Funspot to record any footage, even though I only live 20 minutes away from it. So I simply asked if I could use some footage from him, and he said that that was perfectly fine. So I did want to say thank you for that. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.